this is Jeff with Platinum Morphs. Uh, today I want to go into a little more depth, make another video on how to actually set up these racks. And you, as you can see here, it's, it's about halfway right now. I've got this one a little different where I'm trying to uh, experiment a little bit with an arboreal setup. But I'm going to move that for this rack. But I want you to get a good look at what they look like before they're done. And like I said, I'm going to move that one shelf down and then I'll kind of show in depth and how it's done and uh, we'll put the heat cable on there and then we'll go from there and hopefully we can show enough to where if you want to attempt to do it you can see how it's done and it may seem a little easier. Alright so some of the things that we're going to be using today these are the 28 quart tubs right here uh, I also do racks with setups that have 6 six quart tubs and 41 quart tubs but today we're going to demonstrate the 28 quart and you'll need more of these to do a full rack but I'm just going to do partial of it partial of the rack right now, but you'll get a good idea how it works. The second thing here is these racks. Uh, you can get these at, at uh, Target. Walmart also carries another type, another different brand, which they also carry a depth that Target doesn't carry. These little 14 inch or uh, 16 inch deep ones over here. Those ones I can only find at Walmart, but they're cheap and it's nice and they work great. Um, the other thing, you got your water bowls here, and the breakdown that I'm going to do on these is including is including the water bowls as well. So this is just this is a smaller one, this little four four inch guy. Um, realistically, you'd want to use the five inch ones for the twenty eights, but that's what I got for now. And uh, these are the uh, this is a fourteen deep fourteen inch deep one here that I'm showing off. Uh, these ones are set up a little bit differently than these, but they work great. Uh, the way I've got it set up is where the breakdown on these basically equals about $7 per snake tub with the water bowl. With the uh, 28 quarts with those guys, uh, it's about $18 per, per snake per tub. And then with the uh, 41 quarts, it's about $30. It's a little more. I'm not totally happy with that setup, but I'm still working on different uh, ways to maybe make it better. I want to maybe, maybe try and make them go deeper. I know that doesn't make much sense as me just describing it right now, but it could be something that I do another video on later and describe what I'm thinking and how to do it, but it's still a work in progress. Alright, so this is the 18 inch deep rack here, and what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to move this shelf down to be appropriate uh, distance between like these, and then we're going to add that rack. We're going to unpackage that rack and add the rest of the shelves on, and then we'll show you what it looks like after that. Again, this is the 36 inch wide by 18 inch deep and they're like six foot tall I'm about six foot three so right at six foot that's the dimensions of these all right so when you're doing these racks a real helpful tool is these hammers they, they make your life a whole lot easier what I'm going to do is since this one's already attached when I remove it there's a little plastic clip in here and you can see do move these down which it helps these little lines on here can help to count so let's see one two three four five is all it's showing so I'll go up here and go one two three four five that's what's showing Let me get it off of here I, think I lost my spot there one two three four five now it looks right so that's my guide right there Alright, so we just got undone unpacking the new box that you saw earlier. And you got your five shelves here. Make sure it's five, otherwise take it back and get enough. Uh, keep in mind when you're making these, the second set of poles you're not going to use. So it's only going to be one. This is all you're going to need here. Um, and you just got to connect. And you can see on this one, this one's already ready for it. I did it uh, preemptively on the other box. So it's already ready to go. So really, none of these are getting used this time. These are the clips. Like one, two, three, four, five flip bags, and then we'll spare. And then these are the connectors for the poles and the pegs of the legs. And it looks like everything's in there, so that's good. And I don't even know what this is, I always throw it out. <laughs> Alright, so a couple good tips that I want to run by really quick. When you start these off on the bottom, you miss this beginning part, always start on the lowest peg down here on all of them, and then work your way up. And what I'll show you is this next part, what's good to do. Take these tubs and you set them on there as like a guideline there. 
So then when you go to set your first one, get down here and you look, see where about is that shelf going to fall in and it's going to be right about there. And I just know because I've set these up so many times that that's like exactly where it is. And then come back over to this other side here, do that one and then when you're done with this side it's as easy as just sliding this over and throwing the rest of them on there. And then you just slide the pull on there. Take the shelf, slide it down, grab our hammer that we forgot to bring. Let's see, if I mean, they're in there. They're not too stuck. I like that. That's perfect right there. When this thing's loaded with uh, full of tub, these are a lot easier to get in and out because the whole thing's got a lot of weight. That's it right there. And then we'll just take it, move it up, and repeat the process. Alright, as you can see now, we got the last shelf on up here. This should make for eight slots, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine. So it'll be nine with two across the whole way. And uh, this is the finished product. Now I'm going to show you how to put on the heat cable. Alright, so these are the three basic things that you need. It's not anything too extravagant. A hammer, pliers, and some zip ties. And they are all matching yellow. You want to try and get it that way. Alright, so another valuable piece that you're going to need is this uh, Repti heat cable. 150 watt, 52 feet, made by Zoomed. This stuff works great. Uh, and it covers the whole rack. And we'll show you how that's done right now. Alright, as you can see, we're about halfway here. Um, we got the rest of the still string up here, but uh, you can see right here, see this little black mark here? I want to try and point this out, see if we can get this on camera real good. This is kind of key. This black mark here determines where the heat starts on the heat cable. So on this side, to the left, this is where the plug is. This isn't going to get warm. On the other side, once that black mark starts, that's where the heat goes. So you want to try and align that dot right where the heat goes, and then you just start going up. You can see the zip ties, they go off, and we're going to trim all that off as we go, but... We're halfway right now, and then we'll show you the finished product here in a minute. I think it's going to work good. Alright, so I'm going to show right kind of where I do this. <clears throat> Come in right here, and you can, it, it can go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, but I like it right here. I think it's one, two, three, four. The fifth one, the heat cable is going to come up here. It's going to ride along here. I'm going to bring it all the way down, and what I do is just loop it right under here. And then you'll pull it all the way through until you tie it on the other end. Find your other end that's on the ground somewhere probably. Bring it back over here. And it's only two spaces here. You can see that's tight right there and then we'll zip tie it up. And you wouldn't think just this little tiny heat cable provides enough heat for these tubs, but let me tell you, it sure does. And once you get a room full of them, it creates a good ambient temperature as well. So once again, I'll show you on this side. I'm going to come in through here. Go up this way. This is the reverse way. I'll loop it. Pull it back through. Come back through here. Alright, so I'll show you how I do these zip ties here. Uh, let's start on the side that's going, that needs to be the tightest here, but I go diagonal like this. Just pull it down like that, nice and tight. Pull it down to the next one. And I mean, you don't want to pull these too tight, I mean, they just got to be snug. Just like that, you can see it's just got a little bit of squeeze on there. And then I just ride them on the inside of these two bars here. It's the third and fifth bar. And once again, just diagonal pull down like that. Nice and snug. There's this one here. And if you do these right here at the end, you don't need any zip ties or anything like this. You just come through this hole, go straight up to the next one, and start again. All right, so you can see this is the finished product here. We uh, cut all the zip ties off here. They're all nice and short. You can see 
went all the way down. The yellow zip ties are nice and easy to see. But uh, on this, I want to show you guys on this last one. I know earlier I said it goes all the way. Technically, it doesn't go all the way. This last one comes up a little short, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Heat rises, so the top rack is going to be uh, nice and warm anyways. And sometimes you have snakes that are species that you might not want to be as warm as other ones. So you've got to kind of feel it out, and uh, that's what a temp gun is good for. So. Plug that in there. Just gonna slide back into there. There we go. Got a new rack. Then you want to put these all on timers or real stats, thermostats, whatever you want to do, but that's all on, a, on an extension cord and then it goes back over there on the thermostat, so. All right, so I got a heat gun here. I just wanted to show you that this stuff gets pretty warm. What we're gonna go down here is try and see if we can't hit it right here. It's 100 there for a second, but I think it could have been a little off. Got, got up to 98 there. It's real warm, it's plenty warm enough. And not, you know, not all that heat's radiating right up to your animal, but the stuff gets warm enough to heat the tubs, that's for sure. All right, so part of doing this rack is what we're doing is moving these seven snakes here over into the 28 quarts from the six quarts. So, I'll show you how I do that. This nice bumblebee there. I'll grab a couple handfuls of this aspen. I like the shredded stuff. Everybody has their substrate they really like, but kind of landed on this. It doesn't uh, mold very easy after being wet for a little bit, and it's not very dusty. Let's put a little water bowl in there. Your water. Another big important thing on these tubs, don't forget to drill your holes in these tubs. So they don't come like that. If you don't do that, your snakes are not going to get out off air and they're going to suffocate. So there's that. First one in there. Move them over and start from the top. You can see they'll slide in there pretty good. I usually rip these tags off too, but we can do that later. Alright, so we got all the new seven set up in here. I'm going to probably move a few over here at some point again, but we got lots of room for the hatchlings now. This rack's nearly completely empty. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are the 18 inch deep racks with the 28 quarts, and maybe I'll do another one on how the other sizes. The uh, hatchling one's a little set up a little bit different along with the 41 quarts, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out.